There's a huge difference between a star system and a galaxy, but they're often talked about as if they're the same thing. So what exactly is the difference? Well, a star system is just that, a system of stars. Now, most star systems, including our own, have a single star at their center, but some have a few stars orbiting a common center of mass. A star system also includes anything that's orbiting those stars, like planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. For example, our solar system consists of our single star, the Sun, and everything that orbits it, including Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and all the other planets, as well as smaller objects like asteroids and comets. A galaxy, on the other hand, is an enormous collection of star systems, all held together by gravity. In other words, a galaxy is a massive, massive collection of stars and other stuff like gas, dust, and dark matter, all held together by gravity. Our solar system is just one tiny part of our galaxy, which is called the Milky Way. The Milky Way is home to at least 100 billion star systems, all grouped together in a flat pancake-like structure. And our galaxy is just one of billions upon billions of galaxies in the observable universe. So the key difference between a star system and a galaxy is scale. A star system is a single unit, whereas a galaxy is a huge collection of star systems. It's like comparing an individual grain of sand to a giant mountain. The grain of sand is a single unit, whereas the mountain is made up of countless grains of sand. Now, not all galaxies are the same size. Some are much larger than others, containing trillions of stars, while others are much smaller, containing only a few hundred. But even the smallest galaxies are still much, much larger than any star system. I hope that clears up the difference between a star system and a galaxy. If you have any questions, be sure to ask in the comments below. And thanks for watching.